How's it going everyone? In this episode of TFL Car, we're taking a look at the brand new 2022 Honda Civic. We're gonna check out the brand new styling, the updated interior, and this car even has refreshed suspension, refined engine options. So the question is, is this the best Honda Civic of all time? Let's find out. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get in the Civic and see just what it's like. Look at that, a very nice little welcoming noise. Now, I love this on this car. This engine start button looks and feels so nice and it is the same for really everything in the interior of this car. That screen right in front of me, it's 10.2 inches, obviously digital. It looks very sharp. Also, all of these switches, hear that? They have a really nice tactile feel to them. They look sharp. You can see there's a backlit ring here. It's minimal, but it, it looks good. It looks like something that would have been in sharper image back in the day. Up here on this nine inch infotainment screen, you can see we've got Apple CarPlay, of course, also Android Auto as standard. The colors are very bright. It's definitely not the quickest screen, but still, it's really nice to have all of these features hook up your phone very easily. And then the materials on this interior. This is one of the ways that this new Civic stands out the most. You have this honeycomb design for the whole length of the dash. And that kind of disguises some of your vents. So you can't really tell where the vents are. It just makes the design overall cleaner, more minimalist, a little bit more subtle. Over here, you've also got more nice materials, this textured plastic, which feels more robust than the typical just black scratchy plastic that you get in a lot of economy cars. You've also got metal around your window switches here, and that metal even stretches all the way down to where your fingers go. So the thing that you're touching when you use these is for the most part, metal. Uh, right now we're in normal mode, but let me switch to sport and get on the throttle. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's not crazy fast, I'll say that much. And you can definitely tell that this is a CVT transmission. And unless you wait for the Civic Si or the Type R that's coming out, this CVT transmission is what you're gonna get. You will have two different engine options. There's a naturally aspirated two liter, makes 158 horsepower, and this is a 1.5 liter turbo. That makes 180 horsepower, which is six more than it made in the previous generation Honda Civic. Fuel mileage is up to 42 MPG with this 1.5 liter on the highway. And that's impressive. That's gonna save you some money. Now let me try out these paddle shifters that we get included on the wheel. So every time I hit the minus, the RPMs go up. Yeah, every time I hit the plus, it acts like it's going into a lower gear or a higher gear. So you do get a little bit more control. Right now I'm going downhill. So if I hit the minus, I get some engine braking. One of the most usable and really nice features on this new Honda Civic is the visibility. If you take a look all around us, these A pillars are pretty narrow and through both the windshield, the passenger windows, and even through the rear view, I can see everything that's going on around me. And that makes this an exceedingly easy car to drive. Oh, yeah, now I had a chance to uh, check out the front seat, obviously. Um, and now checking out the trunk and then we'll jump in the back seat. Uh, you know, one nice thing about hopping in the trunk of this car, look at this. They give you like a little lever that you can use to, uh, to close yourself in. But um, I gotta say, you know, trunk is, is pretty comfortable. I think we've, I've, I've seen a couple off-road camping trailers and things like that, that had worse accommodations than this trunk. You can also pull this lever here and also the same thing on the other side to push the seats forward and that way you'll get even more trunk space. But uh, let's check out the back seat. Oh yeah. Okay, jumping in the back seat. There's uh, not tons of amenities. You don't have any vents back here. You do get two USBs. So if you need to charge up your phone, you can do that. There's no 
seat pocket on the driver's seat. Uh, there is one on the passenger seat. But overall, it's still nice materials. You still get that textured plastic. You still get this gloss black and the nice metal door handles. And you even get two speakers on each of these back doors. This optional Bose stereo system that is in this touring spec'd out Honda Civic is a 12 speaker system, so pretty good. In terms of room, it's not too bad, uh, but I'm only five foot 10. So I would say if you were Tommy's height, six foot one, you might struggle a little bit with headroom. That being said, sitting behind myself in terms of leg room, that's really easy. And these seats are nice and they're comfortable. Personally, I would not hate doing a road trip in the back of this car. Now, right now, I wanna do a little sound test with this car. So I'm going to be very quiet. We're going 60 miles per hour. So right around 65 decibels, and really anything under 70 decibels is quiet. This interior is a really peaceful, nice place to be. As you can see, I have safety support pulled up here on the gauge cluster, and of course this new Honda has Honda Sensing, which gives me lane keep assist, which I just selected. You also get adaptive cruise control, so now that's set to 42 miles per hour and the car is moving the steering wheel for me. Of course, it's not completely auto steering. I still have to do some amount of driving, but it really does help you keep the car centered a lot better than it would if it didn't have this technology. So if you're a fairly new driver and you're looking to do road trips on the highway, this is going to make it a lot easier. The car wants to stay in the middle of the lane and that's pretty cool. The base price on the 11th generation Honda Civic is $21,700, which is only 450 bucks more than the 10th generation started at. Now, this is a spec'd out touring model, and it starts at 28,300, and that's exactly the same price that the previous generation touring was. Now the Sport and LX trims of the new Honda Civic are only marginally more expensive than they were in the previous generation, so Everything that you're seeing here in the interior, you're really not paying that much extra for it. If you're in the market for a Civic in the sedan form, they're going to hit the dealerships this summer. If you want the hatchback, the SI, or the Type R, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised with this new 11th generation Honda Civic. The updates to its styling, interior, and technology make a big difference. My one major complaint is that it's not that powerful. It's not an enthusiast car the way that it sits, but the Civic Si and the Civic Type R, both of which have manual transmissions, are coming very soon. That's all for this video. Be sure to stay tuned to TFL Car for more news views and real world reviews, and we'll see you in the next one.